Aloha, everybody. Pastor Mark. I'm uh, standing on Reddington Shores in uh, Florida. It's the Gulf of Mexico behind me. And uh, it is a 63 degree day here. They call that a cold front in Florida. Uh, but it was actually three weeks ago today that Hurricane Ian hit these shores. And uh, I've been spending some time with uh, some relief team down in the Puna uh, Gorda area, uh, just north of Fort Myers, and had a uh, great day with Pastor Aaron that pastors the Rock Calvary Chapel Church there. And they're a great team. They've become a base of operations for the recovery and the relief that's uh, ongoing, as you know. Streets are open, they've got electricity back in the last week or so, and uh, internet actually just a couple days ago too. So they've been ministering to their neighborhood and uh, all the neighbors around the church and then helping out with other needs as well. Our church, as you know, is partnering with some of that relief effort. And uh, it was good just to spend some time. I'll tell you what, after people go through a storm like this, they just need to talk and they need uh, an ear to hear and somebody to talk with. I was talking to the pastor there, as I mentioned, and he told me that during the storm itself, it was probably about a six hour surge where Ian just you know, kind of camped. He came ashore, turned south a little bit and camped on them for about six or seven hours. And he said the first band came through and you got over a hundred mile an hour winds and then a couple hours later, they step outside and all the people were greeting each other and the dogs were running around. And then the second end of it, the back side, the ugly side comes up to 140 mile an hour winds. If you imagine coming across the Gulf behind me at that. And uh, so much damage and a lot of loss. And uh, even in the recovery, it's so sad to see you have all these different issues. And then you started hearing of the bacteria issues and the flesh eating disease uh, bacteria that hit the water. They've got 65 cases now reported and uh, 11 deaths just from that uh, beyond all the other complications. Well, uh, they have survived God choosing them and many other churches. A lot of teams from California are coming. It's wonderful to see that and just encourage uh, everybody in that, in that arena as they recover and minister in, in the difficulty. Um, I was thinking of that verse uh, in Acts chapter 2, verse 21. It simply says, all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. And I would imagine three weeks ago today, there are a lot of people calling on the name of the Lord to be saved physically or to have their property saved. But of course, uh, as Peter's giving that great message on Pentecost, the idea of salvation comes far beyond our physical life. Uh, God certainly ministers and helps us there but it's referring to our spiritual life. There'll be many more storms that will be coming uh, on this earth. Matter of fact, biblically and prophetically, we read of storms and wars and rumors of wars in the last days. And you can make your own calculations as you read through the Bible. But as that happens, we're called to minister and care for one another and to share that truth that all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Uh, I wanna thank you for partnering with our church uh, as we have helped out in several different hurricane relief efforts and the wildfires in California and the different tragedies that happen because we want to point to that truth and we want to point people to that truth whether it's during a storm of life physically or emotionally uh, or maybe some that go through it spiritually Jesus is standing and saying I'm here to save you and uh, this earth is passing away by the way uh, piece by time uh, or piece at a time, but eventually it will be gone. We will have a new heaven and a new earth, but how good it is to minister and to care for each other uh, in the midst of it. Uh, I'll tell you what, if uh, you hear me complaining about little household projects or uh, something that needs to be done, uh, and when I get back to California, uh, just uh, smack me a little bit and say, hey, check out the reality of what you just came from because these people will be in disarray for a long time. So I'm asking you to pray for them, encourage them, uh, thank the Lord for the different churches and ministries and nonprofits that are helping out. 
and all of the volunteers. We'll continue to do that along with many other uh, situations we're helping with. These are difficult days and dark days, but there is a great hope in our faith in Jesus Christ. And I hope that uh, you'll remind yourself of that great verse in Acts chapter two. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Well, I think it's a beautiful day here. Uh, they're all saying it's chilly, uh, but it's a beautiful beach. I should scan and show you the, uh, the background, all pretty flat and level. Kind of feels like Pismo Beach to me speaking as a California boy, but uh, it is a gorgeous area and so we'll continue to pray and help in their recovery. I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday. We'll send a little note along with this video. Aloha from the beautiful state of Florida.